All right, welcome back to Prep Hoop Stars TV. Again, I'm your host, Tony Leach. And again, joining me is uh, Shan Hart. Uh, to my right, she's the uh, uh, president of Shan Hart Enterprises. Welcome back to the show, Shan. Thank you, Tony. Happy to be here. Uh, Kyle, welcome back to the show. Kyle is the sports lead sports writer for the Indianapolis Star. Welcome back to the show. Yep, thanks for having me, Tony. And again, Willie Brown is the president of PhD Basketball Academy, a great training uh, program. Again, Will, uh, Willie, welcome back to the, the show. Thank you. All right, you've already hopefully been able to view uh, our, our point guard discussion as well as our AAU versus summer basketball discussion. Now we're going to give you just the, the Prep Two Stars season preview. Uh, let's first of all just talk about some of the, uh, the top teams in the area. There, there's several great teams in the area and across the state of Indiana, obviously, as a basketball state. Um, Let's talk about just like again, uh, Kyle. What what would you what do you who do you think one is, is one of the top teams in in the, in the area right now? Well, I think you got to start with Tech this year. You know they've got so many guys coming back from that team that last year. You know they got to the, the sectional championship game and then didn't have you know Trey Lyles for that sectional title game against right. Cathedral. He got hurt the night before. Uh, you know, kind of left a bad taste in their mouth. But, okay. you know, they got him back. They got Mike Jones, Jeremy Tyler, you know, C.J. Walker, uh, point guard. Rashawn Richardson. Uh, Rashawn Richardson. Yeah. You know, a lot of talent on this team. And, and this is kind of the year everybody's been pointing towards with right. this team. Like, right. once these guys get to be seniors, right. this is going to be the team that wins state. So there's, right. there's some pressure on these guys because right. of that. Right. But I think they might also have the, the most amount of talent of anybody right. in the state. Too. Yeah. Right. Right. I think and they're I the most agree. talented team. Yeah. But, yeah. It, but if not Tech, then, then, then who? Who would you – who else would you think? Well, I mean, you always got to throw – I mean, Pike's always going to be competitive, although people th may think that they, they, they're going to have a down year. Um, they always find ways to uh, get things done, and, and the players and, and athleticism that they bring. I think Carmel, you can't really can't count, count them, them out, out ever. Right. I mean, they always uh, – are very competitive and toward the end of the year they're uh, they, they make me think of like a michigan state because right. at, the, at the beginning of the year mm -hmm. uh, michigan state you know they look like oh this team is not very good but they're always in you know the elite eight or even playing in the in the final four so right. i think those two teams are, are teams that will right. be competitive at their level well. i think uh i think lawrence north is also going to be a team uh they, they've uh, they got a lot of athleticism they've got a couple of pieces that came over from how and Pat Bacon and uh, Dottavian Walker. Mm -hmm. They also have uh, a Wisconsin recent Wisconsin uh, was it uh, yeah Wisconsin Green Bay commit. Mm -hmm. Deshaun Francis, very explosive player. Uh, so they've got some some pieces over there where they can I think in that in that section with with Tech they could they could potentially knock them off. Well, in a one game situation, yeah, Lawrence North is dangerous, you yeah, know, because yeah. they're you know I, I love the way Deshaun Francis plays. By the way, he's just right. such an attacking <laughs> style oh, yeah. of guard, you know, high motor, high uh, motor, yeah. you know, plays defense, and I think that team will follow his lead. You know, right. I think that's a team that. Uh, you know, will will want to run up and down and then play a you know kind of an in-your-face style of game. So I, that could be really interesting if Tech, you know, if they end up squaring off. And I don't I don't count out Cathedral necessarily either. I know some right. people. I had them six in the preseason Fat 15. Some people right. thought that was maybe a little bit high, but right. you know they're losing a lot. You know, Jalen Coleman. You know, he obviously went to prep school and is gone. They lost a big senior class, but. Right. That's a team that always seems to get better, you know, as the season goes on. Andy right. Fagan does a, a good job with that program. Right. I think Warren Central, too. I was going to yeah. say, we got to yeah. throw in our home team. <laughs> yeah. Warren Central in part two. Yeah. Right. That's going to be who yeah. I throw in. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Any, uh, any sleeper teams to kind of watch out for this year that, that, that may not be talked about initially, but that, that could end up being pretty good at the end of the year? Well, and this may not be a sleeper, but we didn't talk about North Central either. You know, right. and I had a chance to see them at, a, at an open gym here recently. And, you know, right. Aaron Gordon, great player. It's hard to believe he's only a sophomore. Right. <laughs> he got right. three more years of Aaron Gordon. That's, uh, that's uh, incredible. But, you know, right. they've got a lot of other guys around him now, too. And it's a young team. They're not going to have Darius Latham this year. He's right. playing football at IU now, and that's a big missing piece. But, you know, I think that's a team that maybe people aren't thinking quite as much about that, that could have a chance to do some damage. And, you know, Park Tudor won, you know, the, the county last year and got their right. whole team coming back. You know, right. They're 2A, but I think they'll be right there again mm -hmm. to possibly win the county. Right. Um, you know, and then a team that I think is a sleeper that I didn't list in the Fat 15 is Southport. You know, and a lot of people aren't talking saying. about them. They only right. won one game last year. But uh, they added Joey Brunk, you know, came over from Park Tudor. Right. <coughs> uh, Paul Scruggs, a guy who's already got an offer from Indiana. Right. Um, you know, so I think, you know, with, with some tempered expectations, you yeah. know, I don't think they're going to win state this year, but I think that's a team that will really, you know, turn it around. Right. I got a couple of teams that, that I think people should watch out for. I think, uh, I think Franklin Central. Is uh, they've got a lot of pieces over there. They got uh, Luke, Lucas Huffman over there. Uh, they've got uh, DJ Heinrich. 
Uh, I believe they didn't play last year. Mm -hmm. That's going to be available to play. Uh, he's a six-four, kind of a combo guard. So I think they've got some nice pieces. And, and given the sectional that they play out, is not one of the tougher sectionals. I think if they can come out of that section, I think they can make a good run. I also think Hamilton Southeastern is a team to look out for. I mean, they've got back-to-back -back Mr. Basketballs, uh -huh. but they've got some pieces still left over there with, with Tyler Jenkins and Lehigh Kmet and Eric Davison. They've got some other pieces too. I think that uh, that I think if they can play like like a like a team, I think they could they could really make a make a dent. Uh, well, they have in a high school season. Another well. another uh, freshman star over there, right. Zach Gunn, who I think he'll come along as the season goes and, right. and become a really nice player for them. Right. Uh, and Franklin Central, you know, they made a regional final last year, so right. I, I think that's a, a good a good pick as a sleeper team. I think right. Zionsville is going to make a run at it. Obviously, they've got uh, Derek Smiths, uh, right. but they're, they're young. Mm -hmm. right. And so, you know, you never really know what to expect with a young team and don't put a whole lot of expectations on them. But I think for themselves, I think they should aspire to, to go as far as they can, like all teams do. Right. Uh, you know, youth doesn't uh, doesn't count you out, but right. I think they're, they're going to be a team to watch as well. Yeah, right. What do you guys think about Ben Davis? Uh, you know, i got to put some of my faith <laughs> in Coach Jamesy. Right. I think Ben Davis has some. They have some talent. They have uh, Mike Beatty, who's mm -hmm. also a football player. Uh -huh. He's, uh, he's another kid with a high motor. Uh, Jawan Carpenter. I've been watching him over the, over the summer and in the fall. And um, he he wasn't a kid with a lot of skill at first, but he's got great athleticism. And he, he's his skill is really starting to catch up to his athleticism. I think he's going to make a difference over there. Yeah, Brennan Gillis is another guy yeah, over Brennan there. They, uh, I think that team may be it may be a year away, but I think they'll be very competitive this year. Right. Mark James does a great job. He's right. one of the best coaches around. And, right. And I did see, you know, Carpenter played real well in the right. open gym I saw uh, a couple of weeks ago. So I, that's a team that I think may be flying under the radar a little mm -hmm. bit that could that could surprise. Right. Uh -huh. I also think Lawrence Central, Lawrence Central, uh, they they've got. I mean, they got Kyle Guy, who's yeah. uh, you know offered by Indiana. Uh, Devin Heath Granger, point guard, going to be a two-year starter. Uh, so they've got and they've got some sophomores, a couple of sophomores, Chris King and, and Mackay uh, Biffle. Biffle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so they've got some pieces over there where I think they they're going to surprise some some people. Mm -hmm. so. yeah. All right, let's uh, let's talk about uh, just some of the the, the top matchups, some, some fun matchups. The first part of the season to kind of the kind of for people to keep an eye on. Well, I, th I think you always have to start off, and I don't know how long this series is going to go. You know, they've talked about moving them back in the in the season, but uh, Pike North Central, you yeah. know, that night before Thanksgiving, you know, you're getting ready to eat your right. turkey the next right. day, but you right. got to go see a basketball game first. Right. Right. You know, that's, uh, right. that's always a fun one. It's always the gym's always packed. Right. You know, uh, the students are back from uh, their colleges a lot of times, mm -hmm. so right. come, those Pike and North Central kids will come back and watch, and that, that's always a fun one. I think the, the like uh, Willie mentioned earlier, Pike is a little bit. You don't. You're not quite sure what to expect with them this year, but right. Uh, but Justin Roberts is over there now as right. a freshman, uh, freshman guard. Kendall Rollins. Kendall is Rollins a senior now, so uh, he he should lead that team over there. Right. Yeah. So they they they've got some they got some pieces. Yeah. Cameron Walker, mm -hmm. you know, a very athletic kid. So mm -hmm. they should they should uh, they should be very competitive. Yeah. Another good game. Uh, talk about right before your turkey is uh, Warren Central Tech. Mm -hmm. So they get get to see right out the gate mm. how good how good they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that that's going to be a great environment for a great great high school basketball game. Yeah. And also uh, Hamilton Southeastern versus Fishers. It's a town rivalry. Yep. So that's going to be a, that's going to be a great game to, to watch out for as well. You know, in any others. It, well, I, I was going to say that uh, you wonder if, if, if Warren can upset Tech, you know, that first game, what does that do to Tech, you know, the psyche of that team if, right. they, if they come out with the loss? You know, right. how, do they, how are they going to respond to that? Right. And that Warren team, that's, you know, Jordan Garnett. Yeah, you know, they've I got some guys who have, you know, I, I've always right. liked Garnett's game. He plays hard, blue-collar type of guy, you know, Jerron Lands. So they've got some talent. You know, right. it wouldn't be a complete shock. Got some younger kids, too, right. Coming, right. coming up that are pretty good as well. Right. I think to your point, we were talking earlier and then another segment about uh, development. And I tell you, Jordan Garnett has really been putting in the work and now starting to do more facing up. So I think uh, he's ready to be a leader and carry that team. Yeah, right. C.J. Hardaway, another guy from that right. team. Mm -hmm. that, that right. C.J. Hardaway, Jimon Henson, mm -hmm. uh, sophomore is uh, man. He's yeah, he's from, really from good. over the last 12 months. That kid is really, yeah. really, really, really yeah, got really good. Mm -hmm. So I think he's, he's going to open up good. some eyes this season. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's talk about the uh, the prep. Prep Hoop Stars preseason All-State team. <laughs> let's, uh, let's introduce that, and uh, we'll just we'll just talk about the I guess the first and second teams. First of all, uh, some names that are very familiar to around the state. Uh, but you got Trey Lyles, who's a who's a senior, uh, just just committed to uh, Kentucky. So he's a top ten player across the across the country. 
uh, at 610. You've got Trayvon Blewett, who's over at Park Tudor, just coming into Xavier. Uh, top talent, uh, kind of Carmelo Anthony type score. You've got James Blackman, who uh, was, at in, was in Fort Wayne, believe now. Now he's at Marion, mm -hmm. following his dad. He's going to be the coach now in Marion. Just uh, committed, recommitted back to Indiana. So we got to... <laughs> Say one of our, our, our Hoosiers for the States, so that, that, was, that was good. Uh, also, uh, Brian McIntosh. I mean, there's a kid who just uh, exploded over the summer. Uh, he's going to end up at, uh, at uh, committing to Northwestern, but he's a, a really good player. And, uh, and then Mac Mercer rounds out that, that team at 6'9 at from Plymouth, and he's going to be heading to Belmont. So, uh, but, uh, so I think that makes a, a nice, solid uh, team. Well, you know, I think, uh, you know, on, on – Obviously, these guys have done a phenomenal job and, and uh, have been fortunate enough to land in some nice places from a school perspective. But you never know. I mean, some of these guys that you, you have here on the second team may, uh, <laughs> may surprise us. So right. we'll, we'll, we'll see. But I agree. Right. I think the first team right now, just from the, the body of work that they put in, I think this is a good start. What do you guys think? Yeah, yeah. I yes. think that's a good list. Of, you know, all, the, all five of those guys made uh, the core junior team last year they, right. that are on the first team there. And, you know, Mac Mercer's guy is probably a little bit under the radar. People right. may not know about him, you know, throughout the state, but man, he's a skilled big guy. I think Very skilled. Yeah. Good fit for the, Belmont. Shoot the three, mm -hmm. can play inside out, uh, good defender, uh, you know, fundamentally sound kid, mm -hmm. you know, very long. So uh, he's, I think he's going to have a really nice career in yeah. college. Yeah, I do too. So, and uh, let's talk about the second team. Uh, we got. Uh, Sam Longwood, who was a formerly Lawrence North, he's at Lalamere now. Uh, you got Steve McIlvain, who's at New Haven. He's 6'10". He committed to, to Dayton. Logwood's going to be at Auburn, mm -hmm. so top players there. P.J. Thompson is the only uh, uncommitted player on, on, the, on the list, but uh, top point guard, which we've talked about pre previous in the previous segment. Uh, C.J. Coleman uh, for Mount Vernon, uh, another top player. He's going to UNC Greensboro. And uh, then Aaron Brennan, who just committed uh, just a week ago to uh, IEPY, Garen Catholic, yeah. rounds out that, uh, that second team, at least preseason. Yeah, you know, pre we'll see what happens. I, I'll go back to i tell you another kid that's really put in work and, and uh, not under the radar, but I, I don't know that he gets the respect that uh, he's, he's earned, in my opinion, and that's, uh, that's C.J. Coleman. I mean, right. he, he's really come on. Uh, you know, he played with that Spies team in the summer, and, and, and they really gelled well and, and won the, uh, uh, I think it was the Adidas invitation yeah. that, they, that they won. But uh, a lot due to his leadership. I mean, he can, he's got a nice mid-range game. He gets to the, the, the paint. Um, he's got three range. But he's also that leader that we talked about before. I mean, he right. can run a team. And right. so, uh, I, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if he, if he bumps up and, and, uh, and takes a spot on that first team. Right. Well, you, you have Jalen Coleman way down the list here. I think I'm, I'm bumping up him a couple of spots on these teams. Right. Right. Uh, otherwise, it looks pretty good. But, yeah, I, CJ, is a, that's a good mention there yeah. because I thought he and Deshaun Francis really took charge of that team. Yeah. P.J. was actually not even playing in that tournament. Exactly. And they still won it. And they so. still won that. Yeah. Well, Deshaun right. Francis was going to be who I would bump up. Right. <laughs> right. I, I, I actually, you know, he's one of my favorite players. I mean, he just, he, he just never quits. He's mm -hmm. probably the kid that I've seen that just works harder on mm -hmm. defense than he does on yeah. offense, and that's yeah. rare to see mm -hmm. in, in, in players. Which is why I like him. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. That's what wins championships, <laughs> that's right? That's what wins. Right. Defense right. wins yeah. championships. Right. Right. Now let's talk about some uh, some sleeper players, some 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 players that that, uh, that maybe aren't mentioned as much that that that, that are going to surprise this year. Well, I think you know you, this guy you got listed down here a little bit uh, lower on honorable mention is Jeremy Tyler, you know, from Tech. I think he's he could be poised for a pretty big breakout year. Uh, you know, playing alongside Trey, he should have some some open looks. Uh, he's their number two option, but you know you know how teams collapse on Trey. They play right. a lot of zone against right. Tech because of him. Right. Uh, so that's a guy I think you know he could play his way into an Indian All Star uh, possibility. He's got the ability. He's committed to Ball State. You right. know I. Put a star next to his name because I think right. he's going to have a big year. Yeah, right. He's got a good point guard he's playing with, too, that right. can find him right. out on the wing as well. Yeah, that's a good point. Right. You know, I, I think Nick Rogers uh, is somebody that uh, is, is going to have a, a really good season. He's got a lot on him. Uh, he's going to have to carry that team uh, over there at Traders Point. But he's really developed and is, is really approaching the game from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's really attack-oriented and, and now just continuing to work on that leadership piece. And this will be a good time for him to test that out this year. Mm -hmm. Right. 
I think uh, DJ McCall is probably not a sleeper, but I think he's mm -hmm. a definitely nice player. He's he's grown. He's at six five, six six now. He, he's an IUPUI commit as well, so IUPUI's done a nice yeah, job. Good get for them. Yeah, good get for them. Getting getting a couple of good pieces there with with, with McCall and Brennan, but but uh, he's uh, he had a great year last year at uh, Fort Wayne Concordia, led them to uh, the overtime loss to in, in the state championship against Greensburg, and so. Uh, He's a he, he's a nice player, so I think he's going to have another good year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we talked a, a little bit about North Central and that uh, that that matchup with Pike. You know, and Aaron Gordon's down here. You can't uh, not mention him. Right. I think, for from my perspective, I'd really like to see him be uh, more efficient mm -hmm. as a scorer. I mean, he obviously can put points mm -hmm. on the board, but if he can work on that efficiency piece and uh, and and help you know be more productive from that perspective, I think that'll really help that team uh, along. Right. right. Another kid I think is worth mentioning is uh, Caleb Swanigan. I mean, he's a sophomore from Homestead, mm -hmm. but uh, he had a phenomenal summer. I mean, he led the EYBL, which is a great one of the best circuits for AAU in July in rebounding, playing two grades level, grade level up, uh, grade levels up. Uh, so he's, uh, I think he's a he's a player with a lot of a lot of ability. He's got a Georgetown offer already, mm -hmm. Illinois offer. So I think he's going to have a, a, a good year, too. And we haven't seen a lot of big guys right. in the last mm -hmm. couple of years come through Indiana. So it would right. be interesting to see how he develops. And, and, all, and Derek Smith from Zionsville talked about him earlier is in that class, too. Yeah. So right. yeah. it would be interesting to see how those guys develop. What about the kid from up north? Um, oh, is it Hyman Edwards? Mm -hmm. Yeah, from yeah. Uh, East Chicago Central. East Chicago, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very explosive. Another explosive mm -hmm. uh, Derrick Rose, <laughs> Russell Westbrook yeah. type type guard, you just get get to the rim at will. Yeah. But also can shoot, you know, push the tempo type uh, type point guard. I think he'll be one to watch as well. Yeah. Right. Who are we predicting for Mr. Basketball? Good question. That'll <laughs> be uh that's a hot topic right now. I, I right. think uh Boy, you take a look at those top three, you know, between Trey Lyles, Trayvon Blewett, and, and James Blackman. You know, right. I think all three of those guys you could make a, a pretty good case for at this point. I, the story of the year may be, you know, to see how many points uh, Blackman averages. <laughs> right. Right. I think he's, he's, he's going to put up a lot of shots, but he's efficient. I'm predicting right. him at 30. Exactly. I said 40, but I, I'm, I'm going to say I'm going to come down a little bit, say 30 to 35. I, I think he's going to he's going to get a he's going to shoot in volume, that's for sure, as he should, because he's a really really good scorer. I think another name to add to that list of those three is, is Brian McIntosh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that, that uh, you know, I think he's going to have a he, – he led his team last year to the state champ, championship. Uh, he's got a lot of skill, and I think he's going to – at a high school at the high school level, I think he's going to have a phenomenal year, and he may well lead his team to another state state right. title. Well, so. they have five starters back. You yeah. know, he's got good so, guys around him, right. you know, with Wellage and Sean, and Sean Sellers. Sean Sellers, had mentioned. Right. So, yeah, so they've, uh, they're have they going to have a nice – Nice season. I think he's going to be a leader for that team again. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I think it, it'll you know it'll be a great race. I think it's one of those years where it's kind of like the Gary Harris and Yogi Ferrell year, right. where mm -hmm. I think those two are just neck and neck all year. I think these four guys could be that way you know, mm -hmm. throughout the season, which makes it makes it fun to watch. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, all right, I agree. My prediction is going to come down between Trey Lyles and James Blackman. That's my <laughs> prediction. That's my bold prediction. <laughs> All right, again, but thank, uh, thank you for joining us here at uh, Prep Hoop Stars TV. Again, don't forget to, uh, to watch our, our other segments, uh, Point Guard is a Dying Breed, and also uh, AAU versus Summer Basketball uh, is, is one better than the other. Again, thanks for joining us.